He'd already taken action on both cases. Now, as part of his punishment, the court ordered details about the entire case, including the name of the sexually explicit book he gave the attorney, to be published in the Bar Bulletin in a form of a public reprimand. The public to know that this is conduct that they shouldn't expect from their, their judicial officers. The Judicial Standards Commission filed the petition for discipline against Schwartz in August after investigating the romantic fling between Schwartz and the attorney. The commission told justices that Schwartz went on dates with the attorney and gave her the sex book while knowing some of her cases were on his docket. Schwartz's attorney said the veteran judge planned on recusing himself earlier than he did, but got confused when he called up one of the cases and asked if they were ready to go to trial. Now, he blamed the confusion on new medicine he was taking, and when he realized whose case it was, he recused himself. The commission wanted the Supreme Court to suspend Schwartz for two months, the length of his relationship with the attorney. The court said the public scorn he'll endure is enough. I've been in this business for 30 years, and um, nothing like this has ever happened before. Uh, and the court was ready, nor will it ever happen again. Now, Judge Schwartz would not say if he felt he did anything wrong. All he said was he would let the Supreme Court have the final word. Jessica. Okay. Crystal, by the way, Judge Schwartz's attorney said the sex book was a gag gift. The high court also ordered Schwartz to complete a sexual harassment course and pay a $6,000 fine. The